It's just a quick video demonstrating how you can work with ECW file formats in Spro. Uh, so you'll need to do a conversion to turn the ECW into a JPEG. Um, because of the proprietary nature of the file format, we don't have a built-in ECW reader. Uh, so, but you can get a free viewer and converter from the makers of the ECW file format. Uh, and so the link will be with the video uh, on the YouTube description and anywhere else that this goes. Um, uh, just a link to the image I'm going to use today, just an example image. Uh, and then I'm also going to include a link to uh, a free image compressor. So the images you'll get out of the ER viewer uh, when you convert them will be about th two or three or four times larger than they need to be. Uh, it just takes up extra space in your model. So if you want to, you can optionally compress the file as well. So uh, the process is to open the ECW in the ER viewer and then save it into your uh, folder as this, this particular one is an image of Sydney. Um, if the output size is greater than 10,000 pixels, pull it down uh, to under 10,000. You'll save a JPEG. And once again, this step is optional here, but you can add pictures. You can add this picture and then you'll need to set a folder if it's the first time you've used it. And you can hit the compression button. And then what we get out of that is an image that we can pull into Spry. So the triangulation, you just follow the normal process here, but you do get uh, the mapping done for you too. So if you right click on your triangulation, go to properties, go to georeferenced images, add a new one, add the image data. And then if you hit this little uh, diskette button down here, you can also pull in the JGW format which you can see here has automatically mapped the corners of the file and the image. Now, sometimes on first load, you may need to reload it to have it appear correctly, but then the mapping is done. So that's the summary of how you can work with an ECW uh, in Spray.